guys welcome or welcome back to simple sacred home my name is Paige and today I'm really excited to share with you four DIY Christmas decor items that you can make for your home this season now I will tell you I am NOT the most crafty person I am NOT somebody who has been DIYing my entire life so these are pretty easy and beginner friendly things that you can do around your home that do not cost a lot of money and you might actually have all of the resources to do them without spending any. If you guys have seen any of my other Christmas videos in the series this year thus far, you guys know that there is a major theme that I have going on and that is a simple Christmas. Not only just a simple Christmas, but a handmade or homemade Christmas this year when it comes to decor and decorations and while I know for a lot of people that can actually seem more overwhelming, I'm really slowing down and really being very intentional about what I am using for decor and what I'm giving as gifts. And so starting early has allowed me to work on some of those items that I'd love to give as gifts that take a little bit of time to actually make. I hope this gives you guys some ideas. I was able to do all four of these activities within a one week period of time. So depending how much time you can give to creating your items, you might be able to get them done in one day, or it could take you up to a couple of weeks depending on how much time, like I said, you're able to give to making these items. But the benefit of starting early is that you can take the time to do some of these and then actually still have time to enjoy them. Okay, so the first DIY item that I decided to make this year was photo ornaments. So these are not only great for your own Christmas tree at your own home and using them as decor, but they're also great for gifts. So there's a lot of different ways that you can make photo ornaments. You can make your own frames. That can be a really fun activity to do with your kids or your friends. You can also find thrifted mini frames that would be really cute at the thrift store and you can DIY them to make them hang on a Christmas tree. You might also even already have some of those mini frames hanging around your house and so you can just repurpose them for the current season and hang them on your tree. If you don't have anything like that, I was able to find these gold hanging picture frames. They're two by three and I found them on Amazon. They came in a pack of two. You can get them in horizontal or vertical depending on what type of pictures you want to store in them. And I decided to get a pack of each, so two horizontal, two vertical. And what I really liked about these is they already came with a gold chain so I didn't have to worry about adding any kind of hanger to the actual picture frame. These would be beautiful with not only photos, but also Bible verses or memory verses, sayings that you really enjoy, or you could also put some dried florals in them and they would look really beautiful as well. What gave me the idea originally was I really wanted to put our baby's ultrasound photo in one of them and put that on the Christmas tree so that next year when we pull all the decor out and she's actually here with us, we have her ultrasound from last year and we can hang that on the tree again as a memory to her new life that started in 2024. Then I also used a few and took some photos from the year that we had professionally done and I just got wallet size prints made at the store and put those into a couple other frames. I was able to hang them on our tree and so that was really special this year and also they would be perfect as gifts so you could also make these as gifts if you have people that you know that love ornaments and that would like a picture ornament if they have any pets that could be really fun to put a picture of their pet in there and give it to them and once again the frames that i found on amazon already had the chain on there but if you wanted to customize it even more you could switch out the chain for a velvet ribbon or a silk ribbon or some twine whatever you prefer and really customize it to match your tree and your style another thing that i think is great about these ornaments is that you could reuse them every year so eventually having a tree that has each year's favorite photos and collecting them over time or maybe you just want a few photos sprinkled in throughout the tree so next year you can just take out the pictures from this year and replace them with current photos and have those for the following Christmases. So these are really reusable and versatile decor items that you can have for years and years to come. Next DIY 
DIY project that you can easily do for almost no money is cranberry garland. Cranberry garland is really easy to find this time of year with the holidays. So I just went to my local grocery store and I picked up about three bags of cranberry garland. Now, how many bags you're going to need is going to depend on how long you want the garland. I decided to wrap my tree in the cranberry garland, so I needed a little bit more than if you were just doing a string of garland over a window or on one piece of garland on a mantle or something like that. When using the cranberries, there's going to be hard cranberries and there's going to be smushy cranberries. Obviously, you don't want to be using the cranberries that have soft sides or that are squishy, so you're going to want to pick those out and only use the hard cranberries. I just took a piece of fishing line and it was strong enough that I was able to just stick that through the cranberry and I strung it that way. We decided to do classic Christmas colors, so red, white, gold, and green this year, and so Honestly, the cranberries look really beautiful. You don't have to dry them out, they'll dry on their own. So I just took the cranberries out of the bag. I patted them dry because they were a little sticky from the juices and then I strung them. And then after I strung them, I put them in another plate and rinsed them in the sink just to get any of the residual juice off of the cranberries. And then they're ready to string and that's really all it is to it. So it does take a little bit of time. It's kind of time consuming to sit there and string the garland. I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's a super affordable way to add some decor to your home. super easy decor item that you can create for your home this Christmas season is simply just taking velvet ribbon or you can use satin ribbon, honestly any ribbon that you would like, and some greenery. So if you already have some garland laying around or some greenery from little wreaths or anything like that, just take some of that garland that you already have and some velvet ribbon or whatever kind of ribbon you'd like create some little bows and get creative with where you can put some garland and ribbon. A super easy way to make your current decor that you already have look more Christmassy is by adding that greenery and some velvet ribbon. So I went around and added some greenery and ribbon to some of my art pieces that are up all year long. They're not specific to this time of year and it immediately gave it a very Christmassy feel and touch and I already had the garland laying around from previous Christmases so I didn't have to buy anything new. I also had these little candle wreaths that I decided to mount on some of my artwork, my pictures that I have around our home of family photos and added some ribbon, velvet ribbon. And it really just took our normal decor pieces and made them so Christmassy with very little effort. It also looks beautiful to do greenery and ribbon on any ornate frames you might have around your home. So there's a lot of different ways that you can just spruce up different areas of your home without having to buy a bunch of decor. You can just use what you already have and add some little touches. Last but certainly not least is quilted stockings. Now this one you might immediately be like, that is not an easy project. And honestly, this one did take me the longest to complete obviously because it's a little bit more time consuming, but I was able to take some pre-made quilt blocks that I already had from earlier this year that I made that were just sitting in my closet and I was able to turn them into stockings. I have one done so far and I have to do one more. Each quilt block is a little bit different, but the colors are beautiful. They're just classic red and white and I love how these turned out. Now stockings are perfect because you can customize them. You can do any color, you can do any pattern, you can quilt them or you can just sew them normally. I ended up using a pattern, a stocking pattern from Rooney Sewing Patterns and I will have that linked down below super affordable. You can get the pattern from her shop directly for $4 
and then you can just get to work on it and she also has a YouTube video that you can follow along with which was really helpful to me as a beginner so we're in quilter I just started this year and so this was a really fun project that honestly doesn't take a ton of time and it is beginner friendly so if you're interested this is a good opportunity to practice your sewing or your quilting and it's something that you can have for years to come This video was an encouragement to you if you are going to try any of these DIYs I would love to know about it please leave me a comment down below which one is your favorite and I will see you guys next week for another video